Alright guys, before we get into today's Final Fantasy VII Rebirth video, I do want to let you guys know that today's video is 100% spoiler free. Alright, I'm simply running around the basic open world area called the Grasslands, killing a bunch of enemies that you have seen in a billion Final Fantasy games before this. There's nothing special going on here, no crazy characters you haven't seen, no story plots, there ain't even a cutscene in this video. There's no trailer footage, there's nothing. Literally, just open world, running around, collecting items, slashing up random monsters. Just so you guys know, no spoilers. Let's go ahead and get on into today's video. Gamers and game ads, what is going on? My name is Tanek127, and welcome back to another video. And guys, in today's video, I want to give you all my first impressions of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And if you can tell by the sound of my voice, I am excited to talk about this one. Now, before we get into today's video, I do want to give a special shout out and a special thank you to Square Enix. Square Enix were kind enough to hook me up with a review copy of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and I am so grateful for that. I do apologize that this video is late as as well, because you know I did get the review key a day late. However, like I said, guys, uh, a creator of my size to be considered for a game this big, I'm I'm just thankful all around. So thank you, Square Enix, for the review key, and let for uh, let's go ahead and get on into today's video. So, how is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? First and foremost, I do want to give one one um, big thing that you know a lot of people say in their in their videos and other reviews I've seen and stuff like that. Yes, you want to play Final Fantasy VII Remake before you play Rebirth, and there's a big mistake that a lot of people make in their videos that I want to point point out here because you know everyone's so obsessed with you know making sure people play rebirth they forget to mention this little thing if you are someone who hasn't got a chance to play final fantasy 7 remake i have a little piece of advice for you if you're going into the playstation store and you're considering purchasing rebirth anyway just go again go ahead and find and grab the final fantasy 7 rebirth twin pack what it is is it's a dual set that comes with both Final Fantasy VII Remake, it's DLC called Integrate, and the full game of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So that way you will get the option to play Remake before you get into Rebirth. And the best part about it is the twin package is the same price as the base game of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So you're literally just getting the Remake for free. So... Why not give it? A, why not give it a shot? And a lot of people forget to mention this in their remake videos. Everyone's just like, "Oh, you don't need to play remake to, to play rebirth." Blah blah blah. Just go ahead and get rebirth. No, 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 no. Go play remake, man. <laughs> you're you're missing a whole chunk of a of a story, and especially if you you know if you're someone who's played the original Final Fantasy VII, do yourself that service, man. Experience the whole package. Dive into it. Yes, I know it's a lot of gameplay. It's a lot of hours. Remake is long. Rebirth is going to be longer. I assure you. I can already tell by the amount of space that it takes. Speaking of space, that is one thing you want to do when it comes to this game. Make sure you have room on your hard drive because Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, she is packing a whopping 145 gigabytes. That's right. She makes Call of Duty look like a small boy. <laughs> When I saw that, I was like, "Woo! thank God for my two terabyte hard drive on my PS5 because I was about to be upset when I saw that. But so far, guys, Rebirth has been a phenomenal and fun time. It's improved its improvements from everything from the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, what they did when it comes to Rebirth is they basically took a formula that was working, that was received really well. People loved the FF7 um, Remake. And they just enhanced it. They've done things like smooth out the combat, make it you know even more, more impactful. You know, make this make the sword swings feel even better. They've improved the combo systems. They've improved weapon customization. They've given you more variety with materia. They've given you better ways to synergize with your characters. They've done all these really cool things and gave you know different systems here that just mesh well with the action RPG elements. That they wanted to bring into this game. And guys, if the original Final Fantasy VII Remake had everything that, you know, Rebirth offered, I guarantee you people would have been playing Remake a lot longer. They would have went playthrough after playthrough after playthrough. 
simply just because the combat is that good. It is that easy to um to customize your characters and their play styles and stuff like that there's all kinds of different builds you can do in here and the build variety now with all the weapon customization material customization and you know synchronization you can do with your characters guys there are going to be i'm telling y'all now and, and just give it you know a good few months there are going to be some nasty videos out here of people just destroying bosses on some of their hardest difficulties in this game. Like if this game has, you know, any of those secret style, you know, like end game type of bosses that, it, that you know, they're usually in like Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts games and, and stuff and stuff like that. I'm telling you now, the, 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 guy, the hardcore players, they're going to be making some nasty build and, you know, crazy videos timing themselves, just ripping these bosses apart. I can tell by just, you know, the way the game plays and the kind of build variety they give you and the stuff they give you to customize your characters, guys. It just feels so good. The story so far is just awesome. Like I said, um, if you've, if you've played the original remake, the best way to look at Rebirth, in my opinion, is you, you remember how the original Final Fantasy VII was three disc? Remake basically ended on what would be disc one of the original. Picture Rebirth being pretty much disc two. Now, I haven't finished Rebirth. I haven't got to the end of it yet, so I can't say what all contents is here in in Rebirth or anything like that, but it pretty much starts off, you know, like where, roughly where, um, you know, no, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say all a all a disc all of disc one, but it, it roughly take it, it roughly starts, you know, where um where disc two would roughly be, in um in Final Fantasy seven. If my uh if my memory serves me right, could be a little bit off about that, but please forgive me. But guys, Rebirth man, it's just you 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 gotta play it, and then not to mention, you know, like you guys can see here on the screen, it is completely open world. You are free to do whatever you want, guys. Like I said, for this video, I literally just ran around farming items and. And enemies, so I could give you all spoiler-free footage. It lets you go wherever, do whatever, and tackle things how you want to. There's all kinds of different, you know, mini games and stuff like that. They have made this portion of the Final Fantasy VII story built as a game that you can replay for hours and hours and hours and play over again. There's a little card mini game in here. I know people love their Final Fantasy card games. I know that's going to be a thorn in, in my ass because I want the platinum, and I have a feeling some of the trophies are going to be revolved around that card game. And I always suck at those um there's all kinds of different mini games there's different relationships you can build with the characters in here there's all kinds of awesome stuff here in the final fantasy 7 rebirth guys i could not recommend this game more than enough the only issue i personally have with um with rebirth and i don't even i don't personally have an experience too much problems with this because you know i'm a guy that just plays on um on monitors i don't use like big 4k tvs or, or anything like that i feel like you know the performance mode and everybody has said this you know it could use just a a kick more of of resolution the picture does look look a little a little blurry it doesn't bother me too much because like i said i play at 1080p and 1440 normally but it's still a little bit blurry on my end even at those lower resolutions so i can only imagine how 4k players you know with the bigger screen with the most pixels probably feel they probably do want to clean that clean that up a bit and other than that one other thing which really doesn't have anything to do with remake or rebirth is i just wish there was another option out there for people who love the classic turn-based combat system and you guys already know where i'm going where i'm going with that there's a certain final fantasy 7 mobile game that square really need to consider bringing to console already but that's a conversation for another day but anyway guys this is going to wrap it up for my first impressions of rebirth let me know how you guys are feeling if you play it down in the comments below. I will see you all on the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.